Hey everybody, um, here is a quick video for you um, that will take you through how I suggest um, setting up your cancellation reminders so um, that they really optimize for getting your patients and clients to book back in after they've canceled. Um, so this reminder as it's set up right now um, goes out immediately um, after an appointment has been canceled just to confirm that it's been canceled, right? So your so your clients know that you know they canceled properly and within the right time period. But what I like to also have it do um, is serve as another option for them to rebook their appointment um, because you have to remember these people came to you for a reason. They really do want to see you. They need to see you. Um, but things come up, and sometimes people will cancel an appointment without rebooking because you know they don't know in that moment um, so I find in these cancellation uh, reminders that if you can have another link to rebook their appointment um, it, it serves as a good reminder for them and just another outlet so they're not you know searching through their emails for the link or anything like that it's it's really easy um, and it's really easy for us to do so we might as well um, so the first thing we're gonna do is actually just jump over to the client scheduling page when you're in Acuity because we want to grab my internet is so slow today by the way but we want to grab this link copy it so we can make just a really clean easy link um, in the cancellation email so we'll go back to email settings yeah, you're seeing the internet today. Okay, so now we'll go to cancellation. Oh gosh. And then, just like we always do, add new template. I want it to be for follow up and initial. We'll see if it lets me do that because there's already one. It can be the same for each one. You know, we're just reminding them to rebook. Save new template. Perfect. So here is the, I don't know why this is in here. Um, here is sort of how it, how it comes, where it says appointment is canceled for your name on this date. You can leave it as that. Um, I sometimes like to actually play around with it. I don't think they really need their own name in the in the subject line, but I do like the date and time. So what I suggest actually taking this whole thing out, I mean, you can do what you want, but I often will do a uh, reminder, free book, canceled appointment. I'll say from. I suppose we should do this grammatically correct. So reminder, rebook canceled appointment from this day. So when they see it, they know that their appointment was canceled, but they also know that it serves as a reminder to rebook. You can leave all of this in. And then just down below here, you can say your appointment has been successfully canceled to rebook your appointment. Please visit our booking page here and then what we're going to do is make that here a link to your booking page. So you're going to insert link, just copy and paste. I do want to open into a new tab and insert. So now this becomes a link and it looks a little cleaner than you know just pasting your whole uh, email or web page address in there. So you can format around with this, play around, but I think that this is all you really need to rebook your appointment. Please visit our booking page here. They can call, they can rebook. And then all the other cancellation policies intake forms will be there when they go to rebook. So they, nothing else needs to be here now. So you just go to save template. And then this will automatically go out anytime an appointment is canceled. If an appointment is changed and they've rescheduled, that's when they'll get those rescheduling um, confirmations that we, we customized before that really just look like these initial confirmations. Um, so really any move they make, they're, they're covered. 
There's no getting away from you. So I hope this was helpful.